Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, talking to you guys over a little bit of a tutorial video, guys. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. You guys seem to really like the video on how to install Forge 1.4.2, and now I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Risugami Mod Loader 1.4.2, guys. These are two different types of mod loaders, guys. Risugami's is often referred to as Mod Loader, but both of them are Mod Loader. There's Forge Mod Loader, and there's Risugami Mod Loader. Now, some mods use one, some mods use the other, and some mods can use both, guys. But you're going to need to look at the forum page. So go check back with whatever mod that you're trying to install right now. Check the forum page. Make sure that you need Ritsugami's mod loader or Forge mod loader. I have made a video for both, so I'm going to link you guys to Forge to go check that out uh, if you need Forge. So if you guys need to know how to install Forge, there'll be an annotation on the screen. Both processes are very similar, but uh, Ritsugami's mod loader is, you know, known for being more difficult to to install mods so let's kind of get started so what the, the first thing you're gonna want to do is you want to get your file so I'm gonna have two links in the description guys this is the mod loader that you will need and then for demonstration purposes I have the elemental arrows mod guys um, this is uh, Rusugami's Elemental Arrows. You guys can go check that out, but if you're trying to install another mod, you're going to need to refer to the forum post, and I'll get to that later. But for right now, we're going to talk about how to install Mod Loader. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit your Windows key, and you're going to hit R. Okay, so the Windows key on your keyboard, and R. And that's going to pop up this run sort uh, run right here. So if you guys can't do that, then you're going to type, you're going to open up your start menu, and you're going to type R-U-N, run, and I mistyped that. Wow, I suck. Wow, I mistyped it again. <laughs> and you're going to click this application right here and you're gonna run it. So after you run that, it's going to pop up and you want to run percent app data percent, as you guys can see the text right there. Uh, you're gonna run that, and then it's going to open up your roaming folder. In there is going to be a dot minecraft folder, and in there is going to be a bin folder, guys. Now, most of these folders are not gonna be there for you guys. Trust me, I did just clean install Minecraft. Uh, 1.4.2 so pretty much this entire process would be like you have a brand new Minecraft but uh, we're going to start so you're gonna have a lot less folders and files and stuff like here but you will have a bin folder and in there you will have a Minecraft jar folder this is just my 1.3.1 backup we can completely remove that and it'll work just fine so this is my Minecraft.jar so this is where you're gonna be doing all your work so what we're gonna do is we're going to open up that minecraft.jar so double click it you're gonna make sure you have winrar guys if you don't know what winrar is uh... you can go search youtube on how to get winrar free so we have our minecraft.jar now we're gonna open up our mod loader in winrar as well and that's gonna give us a whole set of files so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all these files and we're gonna drag them into the minecraft.jar we're gonna click ok and then we're going to go to this meta.inf folder or sorry meta slash inf or dash inf and we're going to delete it now, it might sound too good to be true, but Mod Loader is pretty much installed, guys. Now, you don't have, you know, that window that's going to pop up and tell you flat out, yes, Mod Loader has been installed, but it has. And for demonstration purposes, I will be showing you guys how to install the Arrows mod. So the reason why I prefer Forge and not... Uh, mod loader is because forge you simply just put all of your mods inside the mods folder while with mod loader it works kind of differently some mods you're gonna put them inside the mods folder some mods you're gonna drag them into the minecraft.jar and some mods you're gonna do both so you will need to refer to the how to install directory on the minecraft forum page for the mod you want to install it is different in every case if it does offer a forge uh, option though definitely go with forge because all you have to do is drag it right into the um, right into the mods folder and there'll be an annotation again still on screen for you guys to go check out how to install forge so pretty much how we're going to install this arrows mod is we're going to open it up and most mods you guys will get will come in a rar we're going to again go back to the app data folder or dot minecraft our bin and then our minecraft dot jar then at the same the same thing that we did for we're going to select all of these and we're going to drag them over we're going to click ok and now those files are in there now as if it seems it was too easy for you guys. We're gonna run Minecraft. As you guys see here, we're gonna log in. It's gonna load. We're gonna go to single player. We're gonna go to my world that I kind of set up here with all this stuff in there. And when we select E and go to our survival chest, as you guys can see, we have our explosive arrows. We have our ice arrows. These are all things in the elements arrow, elemental arrows mod. If you guys wanna go see the uh, mod, mod spotlight I made of these, it is, it is installed, it works. 
And uh, that's pretty much how that works, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this mo this uh, tutorial for you guys. Uh, it does work, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to mention them in the description. But as well, make sure you guys, you know, troubleshoot for yourselves as well. You want to make sure that you have you've done a clean install of Minecraft, that you don't have any other crap in there. You want to make sure you don't have anything in your mods folder uh, and all that great stuff. But again, guys. Forge is a Forge mod loader is better than Rusugami's mod loader in my opinion. It's way easier and it causes less headaches. But uh, hopefully, again, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys didn't remember, to leave a like rating. It is greatly appreciated. It really does make my content better, guys. When you, when somebody spends you know a good hour to two hours on a video, editing it, rendering it. Uh, making it and all that great stuff. It is really great to get that positive feedback as well as if you guys didn't like it uh, Negative feedback would be accepted Because uh, it does it does kind of show me what you guys want as a channel uh, as well as if you it helped you guys This is also good because people come to these tutorial videos to get help and if you guys leave likes then they know it's a good video So anyway now that I've done my like shorter spiel Hopefully again you guys did enjoy this video subscribe to nation if you already haven't follow me on Twitter to see all this stuff I'm tweeting out and anyway, guys, I'm the doctor, and I'm out. Peace. And I'm back, guys. So hopefully, again, you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, if you guys want to leave a like rating, that it will be greatly appreciated. It really does help me out, guys. Just remember, it just really does help. But uh, anyway, guys, on screen right now, you guys can see probably an annotation. And this is everything new in Minecraft 1.4. This is a show that I have, not just a playlist, but an entire show of its own. You guys can go check it out. Subscribe to that show. There's about a dozen videos right now about all the different stuff in 1.4. Top 5 mods, how to install Forge, all that great stuff. You guys can go check that out. And uh, subscribe to that show if you guys want. You just, just be updated for new Minecraft 1.4 videos. There's going to be a lot in the coming weeks. As well, guys, you can follow me on Twitter. Link will be uh, in the description right below. I uh, tweet out often when like you know I'm asking for video ideas and stuff like that so anyway hopefully again you guys did enjoy this video I'm the doctor and I'm out